some of the more local guys in South Africa. Again, this is a hypothetical example for money laundering. You've got a legacy child from the ANC government whose father was very closely linked to some of the mining lords of the day. His name is Augustine Mutsipe and he has a son named Patrice Mutsipe. Very closely linked to the ANC. Patrice is seen as highly intelligent, very sharp. He understands how the world works. He goes to the University of Witwatersrand, he qualifies with a law degree and he becomes a partner at Bauman Kilfillan, first black partner. While he's a partner there, he gets to see that there's money made in mining where his father had close links. His father's a friend with the Hersoff, the Manals, and he introduces them. This is my son, very smart, very sharp. And they're like, we are going to use you as a front for some of our deals, especially with this new government, especially with the ANC coming in. We will make sure you get vendor financing, you get BE financing to run these mines. We will make you a dollar billionaire. As time goes on, they see that this guy is not only sharp, he knows how to make money, he knows how to speak well, he is loved by the World Economic Forum. He is loved by the United Nations. He speaks well. His family looks good and clean and legit. And he can be used for more purposes. So they say, we would like you, Patrice Mutsipe, again, hypothetical example, to help clean some of our money. We need you to buy a soccer team, Sundowns. You will pay the players the highest salaries. You will make sure that this is the richest club, if not in South Africa, on the African continent. And we will collect our money on the other side of whatever Sundowns does. It's kit. It's traveling, etc. It's marketing, as an example. But we're not going to stop there. We need you to clean some of our money in Africa. CAF, we'll give you the CAF presidency. Patrice was not the only candidate running, and at the last hour, the two under candidates decided to fall back and withdraw their nominations. Why? We have known that in Africa, there's a lot of corruption in soccer. We know in football with FIFA, Sepp Blatter, how much corruption is in football. You've got a documentary done by Al Jazeera as well called The Men Who Sell Football. So they say we will give you the CAF presidency because we want you to clean more money as the head of CAF as well. Some of the ways to clean money is through a bank. Because if you own your own bank, you get to decide which transactions are legit and illegitimate. So what we'll do is we'll give you Time Bank, an Australian bank. It doesn't tick all the boxes so you can't be a minority shareholder. We will say you own it outright. And today you own Time Bank your own bank to clean your own money. You have got African Rainbow Capital, which has all these investments where you can clean money. You've got African Rainbow Energy, which does alternative investments. So when Cyril Ramaphosa, who is your brother-in-law, gets to accept billions of dollars in alternative energy money, it'll come through you, through your banks, through some of your soccer teams and the like. And what's worse, you and your brother-in-law and some of your associates, you guys trade in animals, right? Whether it's Angkole cattle from Uganda, whether it's wild game, and at your brother-in-law's auctions, you must pay a higher price than the market value. Where an Angkole cattle in Uganda is 100,000 rand, you will pay 2 million rand to your brother-in-law in a legit transaction in front of everyone. So everything is above board. And we'll make sure on the other side, the money is clean. Don't worry about the fact that your brother-in-law, the president of South Africa, has been caught with apparently millions of dollars stashed in couches from some Sudanese businessman for animals that he never collected and that he never really worried about. The guy spent a lot of money buying animals. He forgot about it and is only showing his face now that there's a scandal there. And your brother-in-law is saying he knows nothing about it. The money was not in a safe. It was not declared. How did he get cash into the country when there are laws that he's contravening from the South African Reserve Bank, from the South African Receiver of or South African Revenue Services, etc. But it's fine. We love you, Patrice Mutsipe and you are friends with all our people internationally, and we will use you to be our golden boy, our Cecil John Rhodes, our Barney Bonato, our Dan Gertler, our Bill Gates, our whoever we need you to be to push our agendas. Again, these are just hypothetical examples of how people launder money.